All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 21 plus x to the power of 14 is equal to 36. So I'm first going to rewrite this as x to the power of 7 times 3 plus x to the power of 7 times 2 is equal to 36. Now, I'm going to put this as x to the power of 7 to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 7 to the power of 2 is equal to 36. Now I can let x to the power of 7 equal to the variable y. And I have y to the power of 3 plus y squared is equal to 36. Now if I subtract 36 on both sides, these two cancel out. And I get y to the power of 3 plus y squared minus 36 is equal to 0. Now negative 36, I can rewrite this as negative 27 minus 9. And now I can rewrite this as y to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 plus y squared minus 3 squared is equal to 0. So if I have something in form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. And if I have something in form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I can rewrite y to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 as y minus 3 times y squared plus 3 squared plus 3y. Plus, I can rewrite y squared minus 3 squared as y plus 3 times y minus 3. And this is equal to 0. Now if I factor out y minus 3, I get y minus 3 times y squared plus 9 plus 3y plus y plus 3. This is equal to 0. And this is simplifies into y minus 3 times y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations, y minus 3 is equal to 0, which means y equals 3. This is one solution. And y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. So to solve this, we have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And I'm not going to waste your time actually plugging them in, but if you do, you end up getting that it's less than 0, so this won't work out. So y equals 3 is my only solution to this equation. Now remember how we let x to the power of 7 equal y. So now I have x to the power of 7 equal 3, meaning x is equal to the 7th root of 3. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. So I'm going to first start by subtracting 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 3 squared. Now I have this minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 3 equal to the variable y. So now if I substitute an x to the power of 3 for y, or sorry, y for x to the power of 3, I get y squared minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. So now I'm going to factor this by rewriting this as y squared minus 2y plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor by grouping, so I have y times y minus 2 plus 1 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. So now if I factor out y minus 2, I get y minus 2 times y plus 1 is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations, y minus 2 is equal to 0 and y plus 1 is equal to 0. For y minus 2 equals 0, y equals 2, and for y plus 1 equals 0, y equals negative 1. Now remember how we let x to the power of 3 equal y. So now I have x to the power of 3 is equal to 2, and x to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1. So for x to the power of 3 equals 2, I can simply take the cube root on both sides. So now I have x is equal to the cube root of 2. And for x to the power of 3 equals negative 1, again, I'm going to take the cube root on both sides. So I get x is equal to the cube root of negative 1. And the cube root of negative 1 is simply negative 1. So I have x is equal to negative 1. So these are my two solutions to this problem.
All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 10. So to solve this, first off, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 3x, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. So I have this plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 10. Now I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I have y to the power of 3 plus y is equal to 10. Now if I subtract 10 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now I can rewrite y as 5y minus 4y. So I have this minus 10 is equal to 0. And now I'm going to switch these places and uh, switch the order, sorry. So now I have y to the power of 3 minus 4y plus 5y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now from here, from y to the power of 3 minus 4y, I'm going to factor out y. So I get y times y squared minus 4 plus from 5y minus 10, I'm going to factor out 5. So I get 5 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now y squared minus 4, that's the same thing as y plus 2 times y minus 2. And I have this plus 5 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. And now if I factor out y minus 2 from this, I get y minus 2 times y times y plus 2 plus 5. This is equal to 0. Now this is the same thing as y minus 2 times y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. So now this is going to give me two equations. I get y minus 2 is equal to 0, and y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. So for y minus 2 equals 0, y is equal to 2, obviously. And for y squared plus 2y plus 5 equals 0, um, we are going to use the quadratic formula. And I'm actually not going to waste your time, guys' time by solve, plugging everything in and solving it. But if you do end up doing it, you get that there is no solution because it's going to be the square root of a negative number. So y equals 2 is my only solution for y. Now remember how we set 2x, 2 to the power of x equal to y. So now I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2. And 2 to the power of what is equal to itself? 1. So my solution is x equals 1. 